Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for coming back and if you're new, welcome to the wonderful world of me. Today I'm back with another Disney makeup video and I will be doing Scar. Last year for Halloween I went as Scar, I'll put some pictures around. The goal for this video is to basically look better than I did last year because I think I look quite decent, I look like Scar. But before we get started don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, drop some comments down below on characters that you want to see me do and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on skincare and makeup. But without further ado, let's get going. So I started with my brows, Scar's got those strong brows, we'll go with a black I brow pencil and just going to draw it in the shape that you want. Then I took a white eyeliner pencil and I mapped out the scar shape before I filled into brows so I just have an outline then obviously I filled in my brows and I used a spoolie to blend it all out on both eyebrows. Then I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and I wanted like a bit of a subtle highlight so I didn't use too much, less is more and I got an angled brush and around the scar I just used that brush to spread it out without covering it with a scar. Then I take another LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso on my lower eyebrow line because I don't really like the lower brow to be too bright because naturally it's not. And then I took the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in the shade Cafe Macchiato. There's no reason that I use a different concealer other than the fact that I bought it so I'm going to use it. But yeah I took a flat packer brush and I just spread it out my lids, making sure all the product is out out there and then I used the Barry M loose setting powder and a fluffy brush and just made sure that the, uh, the concealer was set. So I'm using two different eyeshadow palettes, both from Primark. So the first eyeshadow palette is the Amber Passion. I took the two brownie picky colours and I used a fluffy brush and on my crease using a windshield wiper motion and circular motion. I did a bit of both. Basically you do it until you're happy. I kind of wanted it to be dark but not too dark and stand out. I also used the Primark Masterclass palette and just used a bit of brown just to make it a bit dark and add a bit of warmth and depth. Look at me like I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just wanted it to be a bit more darker and a bit more warmer. So I just added a bit of brown to the lids as well. Then I took a gold colour and a flat brush and on my inner corner I just packed it on till about halfway in the eyelid, about one third halfway. Then I used the Nude Illusions palette and I used the like a dark glimmery brown and I used another fluffy brush and I just applied that to my outer eye and into the middle and you want to go over the gold to dim it a little bit to dull the gold a bit because you know Scar's royalty but he's not royal royalty so we can't have him shining shining too much. Then I went back to my masterclass palette and I took a bit of black and on the outer V I just added a little bit of black just make it a bit darker trying to do a bit of a smoky eye and then with the excess product after you've added it to the corners I just swept it on the crease just to add a bit more darkness. Then I took a felt eyeliner pen and on my crease I just drew an outline like a, a thick line because you know Scar has quite sunken in eyes so I thought this was a cute little cute little detail you can also do this with black eyeshadow but I wanted to draw it on to make it a bit more prominent then I take a white island pencil and in my water line I just outlined that because lions have that white line and also I'm a cartoon lion so I make my eyes big and pop I used a pencil brush and just took a bit of black and I used that to set the eyeliner and then with the same pencil brush just go on my lash line and just add a bit of a black line, a bit of a smoky line, just add a bit of you know pop, wow, pizzazz, all of that jazz. I prime my skin with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. So then we use the Sleek Life Proof Foundation in the shade LP21. This is the right shade unlike my last video where I used the wrong shade. 
and I just take a simple brush and I was kind of going for a natural coverage so I didn't use that much foundation so it's and then around the scar I used concealer brush and I just took the foundation and I used the concealer brush to get it around there and then I took a beauty blender just to sort of sponge it all out and make it just a bit more matte and finished. So then I took my eyeliner pencil and I drew the bottom of the scar. You can do this um, at the beginning. Then I take my Fenty matchstick in the shade Caviar and just above my natural cheekbone I've drawn in the cheekbone lines because you know Scar's face is his cheekbones be snatched. Snatched for days. He's gone. He's living in the elephant graveyard so food is scarce. Then I took an angled blending brush and I blended it. Well not too much because obviously I wanted it to stand out. We want, we want our cheekbones to pop, cut somebody. And then because you know Scar's skinny, he has none of this double chin going on. So I attempted to conceal my double chin. Then I'm using the um, a Primark concealer stick in the shade Porcelain to draw on a little beard. Where the white part of my mouth is going to be and I use a damp beauty blender and I just blend it all out. Then with my felt tip eyeliner pen, pen I draw on my nose and the little line towards my mouth. And just fill that in. Then I took the Rimmel London liquid lipstick in the shade black. Don't do like me and put your lips together after you've finished applying it because you will transfer it but you can just wipe it off. I used my beauty blender just to like blend it out. So then I'm taking my Snazaroo body paint in the shade white and I'm using that to fill in my scar. You can just fill it in with a and then just to add a bit of dimension to the scar I just drew black lines around the edge but you didn't see me do that but yeah I did that. I didn't highlight this video because I didn't want to embarrass myself so we didn't highlight or contour my nose. This is the final look. If my eyes look a bit red it's because um, I abused my eyeballs to try and get the contacts in but it wasn't going in. I got one in actually i got one in and it was scratching my eye the other one wasn't going in it was just a bit of a disaster let me know what you think down below and if you have any tips on getting contacts in for someone who doesn't wear contacts let me know as well i'll be back next week with another character so make sure you come back and check what i'll be doing but until then check out my other makeup videos over here to check out my skincare videos click over here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you in next week's video peace Mwah.